Yo, Foodie Nation, what's good? Whew, yo, I was running to get back in the house. I don't know why, like, that gas station chicken was speaking to me so badly today. I was just sitting there looking at it, and it was looking at me. And it had looked like it was actually kind of seasoned good. And it was looking crispy. And it was golden brown. I said, Lord Jesus, I can't eat that chicken. You know you had sent me to the store earlier this week to get some rotisserie chicken for healthier eating. See, I had to rush home. I had to rush home so I could come make me something to eat. Because listen, that gas station chicken was about to get it. You know what I'm saying? I was about, I, that, that little gas station chicken was about to get it, okay? So, the alternative to that is I'm about to make some chicken salad with this rotisserie chicken that I bought for my healthy eating this week, and I almost just threw that out the window and ate some gas station, some gas station fried chicken. They almost got me, y'all. They almost got me. But we sticking to this, we sticking to this here diet. I don't call it a diet. We sticking to this here healthy eating. Okay, so I'm about to make me some chicken salad real quick, real quick recipe. We're going to throw that over some salad greens and call it a day. No bread, no, cross, no croissants, no butter croissant. We're going to throw it over some salad greens. You know what I'm saying? Get that, get that thing moving. What's up, cuzzo? So, yeah. So like I said, I got me a rotisserie chicken earlier this week. That piece you see missing is from, I did uh, chicken and zucchini. I got that from my boy Marcus. He did this little chicken and zucchini omelet. I was like, hmm, it's kind of tasty. So I did a chicken and zucchini and smoked Gruyere, uh, Gruyere cheese omelet earlier this week. This is right on time. I'm gonna make some today. Perfect, how about that? So what's good, Ty? So like I said, y'all, I'm trying to make me, I was about to eat that gas station chicken. I don't know if y'all, it, it was the Arab store. I ain't gonna cap. It was a little Arab store across the street. I walked in there, you know what I'm saying, for, for amenities and whatnot. And that gas station chicken was looking good, boy, I ain't gonna lie. I could smell the grease. You know what I'm saying? It had some black people back there cooking it too. I almost bought that gas station chicken. I could, I could feel myself biting into the crusty. <sighs> And then the, the greasy chicken just, a, whew, we're going to make this healthy chicken salad, y'all. We're going to make this healthy chicken salad. So like I said, we just got this, this, this rotisserie chicken came from Wally World. You know, so, oh Lord, it's a little tough because it's cold. So we just going to, I got a little bit of dark meat and a little bit of white meat. Um... I like to buy the rotisserie chicken sometimes, not often, but I just did it this week because I was like, hey, you know, I want to have a healthy option. I don't have to necessarily cook it. So I went and got a rotisserie chicken. Like I said, earlier this week, I used it. I chopped it up, sauteed some zucchini in a pan, um, some pepper, some onions, and then threw in the chicken, threw in a little bit of cheese, and had myself a healthier omelet this weekend. I mean, it's just early this week, so, excuse me. Rotisserie chickens have a lot of different functions, okay? So I'm just getting, I'm keeping the skin because that's that's good stuff. But I'm just getting like bones and ligaments and stuff out of there. And I'm gonna give it a quick chop. And we're gonna make that, we're gonna make some, some. Um, I ain't gonna say it, but y'all know that bakery I used to work at in Sumter. We're gonna make some real similar infamous uh, chicken salad from that there bakery that's located off Alice Drive in Sumter. Okay, because it's a real simple. It's a real simple recipe. You can pull this recipe up on Google. You'll be surprised. How's your day going, Ty? What's going on, Christy? So we're starting off with, like I said, I literally just pulled like a breast off and a and a leg thigh quarter off. It's day two eating off the rotisserie chicken. You know what I'm saying? There's ways to eat out here. You know what I'm saying? And not spend a whole bunch of money. All right. So I'm gonna give this a quick, this is a whole, sir, 
Why do you have so much chicken? I did not mean it, but we in here. Might as well. This is my problem. I be I be in here cooking for myself, and then five, six servings later, I'm sitting here like, I'm gonna do with all this food. So I ain't even gonna lie. That's it right there. This will go back in here for something else. Cause I'm not about to sit here and have all this doggone chicken salad. No sir, not me. All right, so quick little chop, just cause I don't want no big old pieces of breastuses in my mouth. At least the chicken that is. So you're gonna give this thing a little chop it and chop chop. You know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna slap this on down in the bowl. All right. All right, next for our mirepoix, mirepoix. I'm gonna have some celery. You know, I'm the type of person, I like to have my, my vegetables and like this super small. Don't be giving me no chicken salad and the, the onions and the celery is as big as the egg and the chicken. My Lord, you must not like me. Okay, so I got one celery stock in here. Get this thing chopped up. Who else in here? Y'all come talk to me. Who else in here? Who's joining me for a quick lunch live? Okay, so again, I want my celery small. I want it to be in there, but I don't want you to taste it, taste it like that but it's needed in there to give it depth so that your chicken salad don't taste like chicken and mayonnaise. Yeah, some of y'all stuff be chicken like chicken and mayonnaise. That's not what chicken salad's supposed to taste like. All right, so. What's good, fam? What's good, Sheena? What's good, Ruth? Are y'all speaking, speaking? What's good, Valerie? I love when y'all come and speak to me. What's good, Mario? So that's what I'm looking for. Like I said, a small dice on that, just so that it's not like a big apparent bite whenever you're eating. All right, so we got, I don't know. Let's say, y'all know I'll be trying to give y'all these recipes. So let's see, two and a half cups of chicken. So that's like a quarter cup of celery, okay? All right, I'm gonna do a little green onion here, a little scallion. I'm using this because it's a little less aggressive than a white onion. What's up, Treese? Taking a break for work for this, yes sir. I hate celery, but I will add it. Chop fine, that's it, that's why I do it. That's why you gotta do it really, really small. Cause stuff, certain stuff adds flavor, but you don't want it to taste like, you know, that, that whole thing to taste like it. Same with onions, that's why I don't do a, that's why I don't usually do white onion, because white onion can be aggressive, but it does need that onion flavor. All right, so chop this up super small, super small, super small. Little enjon. What else we got? We got a little egg. This egg's still good. I hope these eggs smelling better. Cause I like a lot of egg in my chicken salad. All right. How about that? Hmm. Yes, yes, that's better. We gotta have a couple of eggs. Y'all ain't gonna lie, this is my first time buying these eggs. These already boiled, hard boiled eggs from Walmart. Boil this and to save your life, okay? Whole lot of work. Oh, let me teach y'all a hack. Let me teach y'all a hack. Y'all ain't never, well, y'all might've seen this kitchen hack. But this is how we do it in the kitchen. Y'all ready? Hold on. Good. So you gonna grab your bowl. You gonna cut your egg in half. And then you just gonna grab your cooling rack and you just gonna smush it through. That's it. Raise your hand if you didn't know that. Raise your hand. It's a raise your hand emoji. Raise your hand if you ain't know that. 
Hey, Ty, you gotta, that thing gotta be egg heavy. You feel me? Matter of fact, that was light. Let's come back with a few more eggs. Okay, so what is that? Hey, so for this recipe, let's go ahead and write it down. That's about five to six eggs, because, you know, we like our eggs out here. All right. Word, y'all out here learning. I appreciate it. That's why, you know what I'm saying? I want to make sure y'all out here learning. All right. So we got, that's five. That's egg number six. All right. That's that. So, so far we got our chicken. We got our diced rotisserie chicken. We got some onions. We got some celery. We got some diced eggs. Um, next, we're going to add our wet. That's all for the choppy to chop and stuff like that. So next, we're going to add our wet ingredients. So normally, I would just do mayonnaise, some sour cream, some mustard, some cubic cubes, and that's about it. But I got some of this Caesar dressing. Mm -hmm. I got some of this Caesar dressing right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a little Caesar chicken salad. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all like Caesar? If you don't like Caesar, just leave this part out. Just, just do mayonnaise where I'm doing Caesar. All right. We're going to get a big spoon for the mix. All right. So we're going to hit it. Bam, about a tablespoon of Caesar, a tablespoon and a half of Caesar. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's good house-made Caesar. That live is somewhere on my on my on my on my thingy thing. Y'all go check it out. All right, mayonnaise. Yeah, that, that Caesar live is somewhere, and I was doing croutons dressing, crouton, croutons with it as well. All right. So we got a little mayonnaise. Y'all see me, I'm out here rinsing the same spoon. You got it, because guess what? Ain't none of y'all over here washing these dishes. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! <laughs> okay. All right, all right, I see some eyeballs. Sour cream, never had it like that. Listen, I told y'all, it's a spot in Sumter that be selling chicken salad like ain't no doggone tomorrow. And all I'm gonna say is they put sour cream in there. So it ain't that as uncommon as you might think. All right, so we got all that. A little bit of seasonings before we go. I already know what this is. I just ain't got a label on it because you know what I'm saying? You got to save money when you're a small business owner. So, you know what I'm saying? I can't be out here fancy balling with the pretty label. I got to have a, the knockoff brand. But this that yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, we can do a little onion powder. Okay. Let's see. Y'all know I got the big containers now. Don't try this at home. Now I keep that wick now. I keep that wick now. Oh man, I got jerk in here. I could have I could have done a jerk chicken salad. That would have been busting too. All right, so we just gonna get us a mix and mix, mix and mix. And from here, so I always start with a little bit of liquid or a little bit of wet ingredients because you can always add. But what you don't want is no old wet up uh, chicken salad. And you know what I'm saying? I'm really good at what I do. Like not too long horn. But like, this is the perfect consistency, so we don't need to add no more. Look at that. Ain't wet, ain't dry, just right, and just right. Okay, one thing I did forget is you gotta have a little mustard in there. It's a little tart, a little tang, a little, little, so we gonna have a little, little oh, 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 that's enough, okay? And then uh, you gotta have your sweet cubes. You know what I'm saying? You can use regular relish, relish but come on, man. Come on, man, you gotta have that sweet cube in there. Not sour, sweet. Put your label on there so when people are looking at the live, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? I got it, I got it. You know, I'll just, I'll just be a little, a little lazy, that's it. But y'all should know what it is. It's that yes, sir. All right. All right, that's about it. I'm gonna taste this thing. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? Living that holistic lifestyle. So I'm gonna add a little maca powder. And you know what I'm saying? This is good for energy, stamina, 
balances hormones and libido. You know what I'm saying? Everybody could use a little more libido in their life, okay? So maca powder. This is actually sold right there at Walmart too, so y'all can y'all can pick this up. Locally. But they say add about a teaspoon to your water or favorite smoothie. Or we're gonna add it to this here chicken salad. You can call this libido chicken salad. Yes, sir. All right. Let's give this a mix and mix, and then we're gonna give it a try. And then, like I said, we're gonna put this over a salad. If you ain't, if you already out here living your best life and your waist is snatch, and you know what I'm saying, all that good jazz, you can eat this on some bread. But I'm about to eat this on a salad and see what it do. I'm gonna make it do what it do, baby. Yes, sir. All right, I was really about to blow this. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Yo. Mm. That's really good. I got a salt problem, so this a pinch. And, you know, black people just can't go without doing this. I gotta add a little pinch of sugar in this thing, you know what I'm saying? Just a pinch. Just a pinch. It's a pants, don't cry. Okay? That's good. We're gonna bump it up a little more. I think I want a few more sweet cubes. I like I like that pop from them sweet cubes, okay? So we're gonna bump that up a little more. Maybe just a splash more sour cream. Mm. And that's that. Like, I'm about to crush. Got my uh I want some Kool-Aid, but we can't have no Kool-Aid. So I pick up some of this beet, carrot, and orange juice, okay? You know what I'm saying? Not too bad on the sugar, but that beet, if you don't know, beet, carrot, juice are very good for you, okay? So, got to keep the good stuff in your body, y'all. So mix this back up. Let y'all see the action. Mm-hmm. Y'all, it's the eggs. Like, it's the it's the every time I turn the spoon, I see an egg for me. You feel what I'm saying? Gotta have a sugar. Yes, sir. You always get up here and tease us <laughs> when you eat it. Yes, sir. That's that's the uh that's the fuel and motivate y'all to get out here and try these recipes. Because I ain't out here giving y'all this goodness just for y'all to watch. I want y'all to get in the kitchen and and actually make this joint happen. All right, so let's do the final testing. All right. Mmm. Mmm. It was the top off for me. I had to top it off with a little sugar, a little cubes. Mmm. Lord Jesus. Whoo, let me make this out. I'm ready to eat. Yes, sir. That boy Calla would say another one. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here dropping recipes. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't on tomorrow. You feel me? Yes, sir. Let's grab us a swig because a ninja's thirsty. I love chicken salad. Looking good. You in my neck of the woods. No, nah, I'm in. I'm I'm home, so I'm in. I'm in Somerville right now. I'll be in Sumter on um Saturday. Sumter on Saturday. Mm. Mm. I, I'm the only one eating this, so I, I can eat out the bowl. I wish I had some crackers. Some rich crackers. Wow, this is so good. Mm. 
So next time we definitely gonna try us a jerk chicken variation. That would be good in a spinach wrap, correct? With spinach. You moving back to something. <laughs> Don't believe everything you see on the internet. Now, let me show you why I will not, like, I'll continue to drive back and forth. Let me show you why. It's a lot of stuff that I'm able to provide y'all. That's because I live in Charleston. If I lived in Sumter, I wouldn't have the resources that I have. Like, the markets out there is trash. The grocery stores out there is trash. I ain't gonna say the produce is trash. I didn't tap in with too many farmers. But I got so much access. I got way more access to stuff out here. So, yeah, nah. Like, I have no intention of moving back to Sumter. Y'all wouldn't get no crab. Y'all couldn't get no, I ain't buying no shrimp and something because they only sell one doggone size. It ain't the size I want, it's too small. So, nah, I, I, I enjoy living in Charleston and taking my little hour and a half drive. It don't hurt nobody. I just be a little TT late sometime. You see this something I need, but I'm at work and can only, um, only watching, not listen. Don't tell my supervisor. Oh, Lord, Kendra, don't get in trouble. Whitney, listen. The crackers, the rich crackers with the salt and then the buck. Man, listen. That's like the perfect pair. I'm gonna make, I got some tuna in there tomorrow. Uh, tuna in there too. So I'll make some tuna salad maybe tomorrow or the next day. I got a good bit of chicken salad here. Lord, I want that now with some crackers. Yeah, I just read that. Yeah, 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 nah, Angela. We I'm not with it. I'm not with the I'm not with the poop. Alright. Who this is? Club crackers. Club crackers ain't bad, but you know what I'm saying? I'm a Ritz kind of guy. You feel me? So I'm gonna I'm try and be fancy, right? Let's try and be fancy. How can, we, how can we be fancy today since I actually got a few of y'all in here? You know, I would have just put this on a plate and ate it. But since y'all want to be in here with the views, let me see how I can plate this thing up a little bit. Let's see what we can do real quick. Let's see what Chef Kirk can make shake. Is my micro plane in here? Oh yeah, y'all ain't ready. <laughs> That's me meticulously laughing in my head thinking about what I'm about to show y'all. I might have said I need to make chicken salad yesterday. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What's good, Maggie? You should do TikTok lives. I should, because I got like 20,000 followers on there. So maybe a lot more people will watch. Ooh. All right. So we're going to grab our cucumber. And guys, we're just going to do a nice little, we're probably going to do a little ribbon. So we're gonna take our mandolin. Alright. And we're gonna slice long ways. It's a little thick. Let me get it a little thinner. Alright, it's not bad. Oh, excuse me, Lord. That's the that's the, the carrot beet juice. All right. Well, I said now we going fancy. Now we going fancy. Now since y'all in here, we gonna go fancy now. So we gonna do us a little. Oh, I need one more. I need one more. All right. 
So you're gonna make us a little, a little perimeter with our cucumbers here. All right, just like that, we call it a cucumber bowl. All right, and then we're gonna fill this up with our spring mix. Sam, fill this up. Mm -hmm. Top that thing on off, like such. Focus, Kurt, focus, focus. All right. Gonna slice us some maters. About four or five maters. And watch my knife work, watch my knife work. You know what I'm saying? Take that thing and you slide it through and you cut all of them at one time. I ain't got time to be cutting one at a time, okay? Come through here, we're gonna drop our maters, make it look all pretty. Some fell in, some fell out. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's put our chicken salad on the plate. Hydrated. Come back through with our chicken salad. Again, this is just mayonnaise, sour cream, some mustard, a little Caesar dressing, which is optional. You could either done Caesar or ranch. So if you don't like Caesar and you wanted to switch this up, you could have took the Caesar out, put ranch dressing in, add some bacon. Now you got a chicken bacon chicken salad. Chicken bacon ranch chicken salad. Come on now. Is that is is that preaching to anybody? Is that preaching to anybody? Hmm. All right. So now that we got our chicken salad in there in our mold to mimic our our salad cup. Oh, uh, that's about it. I'm just over here playing at this point. So. Let's get us a nice scallion cut on a bias to garnish our chicken salad. All right, cut on a bias to give it a little. Oh, oh, I ain't done, 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 I ain't done. Hold on, hold on, I ain't done. Hold on, I ain't done. Y'all know why I ain't done? This is iconic black signature right here. Boy, if you ain't got no paprika on your chicken salad, I ain't want it. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me get a little, 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 come on, come on, be good to me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me dust the plate over here. Come on, come on, come on, be good. Oh, 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 yes, sir. That's it. That's it. That's it. End the show. End the show. Come on, man. Y'all, y'all. Come on, man. This started off as a simple little quick chicken salad. Look what your boy done done. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. Food Network, where you at? I'm tired of cooking out this house. Where you at, Food Network? Come on, boy. Stop playing with me. All right, so like I said, we got a chicken salad sandwich. Or no, I, I, See, I don't even know how to, I can't even speak. So we got a chicken salad served with a salad, side salad. 
in its own cucumber bowl. But you know what I'm saying? What y'all think? Smash or pass? Smash or pass? Appreciate it, Catrice. Smash or pass? All right, y'all. Let me catch my pictures so I can crush. But I appreciate y'all tuning in. We out.